Hey guys, how's it going? Wade Mitch here. Today we are back on Greystone Farm. Got the 7600 here. And if you check in the corner there, you actually notice we have a lot less money. So we did kind of go on a little spending spree and we do have a decent sized loan we have to pay off now by the end of harvest. So I'll hop in the 76 and we're going to run around back. I want to show you guys what went down in between the stream and this video. Now if you did watch the stream, we did buy that. Um, that was a small pickup. And actually, I think it might be leased, but that's not the main topic right now. As you can see, we have a little more path here. And then we actually have a brand new shop for our semi. We have a new 4255 open station on lease till December. And this, we have a nice big freestall. So, um, we gotta get some feed down. We do have cows in here. They just don't show up yet. So, we'll ignore that. It's work in progress. But, as you can see here, we already got some feed in. We got two robot mixers. This is like, I think, 130 by 110, I think were the dimensions. We got our milk tank out front here. See, we still have some field left. We did chop this on stream. But we gotta get these guys some bedding thrown down, get them fed. We have a manure unloader there. See around back, here's our slurry. And we have some more field right here still. This one's got a manure pile. Then right here, this 4255, the deal we got on this is, so if we lease it, we're going to test it out, and it's $7,000 to lease it until December, and then we're going to go ahead, and if we want it, we can give them thirty five and it's ours. So I think, they're right, at this point, there's no doubt that we're going to buy it, as long as nothing goes wrong, because mixing and stuff, and hold some manure with it, and it pulled everything just fine, so it's looking like a real nice tractor to uh, kind of share the workload of the 4440 a bit. But, as you can see, we got it here hooked up to the Supreme Mixer. I don't know if I have, no. So we gotta make some more feed. And then here's the shop. Go ahead and back our semi in here, eventually. And right here, we got the farm truck, and then we got our project truck in the back here. Kinda waiting to get worked on. A little shop tour here. Obviously got the big area. We go to the back here. Open this door. We got our office, our computer, our microwave, nice TV. And here we got the water heater and the furnace. And in here we got a little bathroom for us. Obviously, got this side door. We can go out to the house if we need to. Let's go shut all the doors. All right. And in the back of the shop, if I can get back here, we have a little compressor. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. But anyways, let's go ahead, we'll hop in the 76, go get some bales so we can make our TMR. Now when we do fully buy that tractor, I'm not sure if we're going to sell anything. Um, I'm not planning to at this time, just because we don't um, necessarily need to sell anything. It's not like we're overcrowded or anything. But I'm going to go grab a hay bale here. I was debating getting a loader for that tractor too, but there was no attacher, it's just a, like the loader's on there the whole time, so I didn't. Let's go ahead and back up here. We're gonna get ready to load up our mixer. I also did fix our barns, because our manure production was thrown off for some reason. So I did up it. Um, now we should have plenty of manure from all of our cows. But basically the loan we got um, included, we got... With that barn, we also bought, I think it was like 25 cows, because I left some in here for them to reproduce. I just need to free up space in our tie stall, and put some of those older cows in the free stall. Now, I did plan on putting a path through here, I just haven't got to it yet. Let's take two straw bales. Or no, we need silage bales. That's my fault. I don't know why I was going with the straw. And then off screen, I also have lots of grass bales. So I'll go ahead and show you guys in a second. We can get it back here and keep wrapping. 
Our silo is about full from that chopping the corn over there. Right, let's go ahead and grab the salvage bales here. Kind of get our super strength on here and drag it out to the side. There we go. Let's go and grab these. Oh, I forgot our weight. That's not good. You need to get a three-point bail spike so we don't need our weight all the time. So we're kind of doing a reverse wheelie right now. Let's see. Where did I put that? Okay, we might have to use our super strength to lift these bales into the mixer for now. Whoa, getting a little squirrely. Alright, let's go ahead and throw these in here. Now let's fire up the 40, 4255. Let's get that thing mixed in. Get our bells to stay in. All right, let's go ahead and dump this mix in here. So the plan right now is to only fill up one half of this barn, which is why I'm only filling this right side. Um, and then once we expand, we will end up filling up both sides. I just don't want to have them all spread out. I want to keep them in one area, easier to clean up. There we go. see how these guys are doing so from what I can see is we probably need to lower the amount of food they take because obviously 50 cows isn't gonna take this much food but we'll have to do that later same thing I need to do is to tie stall still with all that straw but we'll go ahead and load a few straw bales up now get some straw bedding thrown down just get them up a little more then we'll, once we skip a few days here, it should be getting up and healthy and should be reproducing soon. Since we don't have that weight, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of throw the stray bales in here. It's like this one. I know we have a few over here I can still use. We'll go ahead and use these two as well. Let's check on our... Looks like we don't have any... Or we have a little bit of new manure here. So this should start piling up a lot faster. If it is too much, I will lower it. But we do have about 150 cows, and we're milking about... I'd say 80. I think is the count. Yeah, I'd say around there. Let's grab the straw. Oh, we missed. Alright, let's take this around back to the barn. throw this straw down for them. Alright. So yeah, we got straw, TMR. Looking pretty good there. I think our beef is well. Yep, our beef is fine. And then 
these guys are also doing good there so we'll go ahead probably full 180 here and park this for now and we're gonna get on to the next task which I have to figure out what needs to be done so I'll have to pause the recording here for a second because as of right now I don't think we need a ton done I might be able to spread some manure though we'll have to see alright so it's looking like we have some manure spread over here in the HNS so we'll go ahead and fire up the uh, 4255 just because it's new we're going to use this thing a bunch so I can kind of show it off to you guys right, let's go ahead Grab this load of manure. We should have plenty here. Alright, looks like we're not 100% full, so we'll go around the back of this barn, because I know we have some manure from our free stall. And we'll go ahead and fill it up. Probably finish spreading on this area, and then on the back side of the field here. Oh, we got caught on something. Looks like there's a ramp there we're running into. I had to fix that. Alright. I have not yet used this uh, manure loader, so it does look like it works fine, though. I think we still got a little bit there. I don't know why it's not letting us fill up. Looks like we're kind of botting them out in that bump. Alright. We'll go ahead and get this spread out of the field here. There's still a few bumps from there building this, so we'll have to go through and get the roller or something and smooth it out. Let's go ahead and leave the gate shut for now so we can go around here. Let's get this thing running. Oh, wrong button. Back up here. Let's start spreading. Let's get a nice screenshot here. Definitely not a great smell, but you know, we gotta use our new tractor some, right? really does pull this thing pretty nice. Also, it did pull the chopper wagon as well. If you'd like to go back in the stream, actually see it. We got the 18-foot uh, filled up pretty good, and we didn't really have much problem pulling it. Still got it to full speed, so. It's got the power behind it. We do have the option to buy a 4455 when we go to buy it in the spring, but I'm not sure if we will, because I don't really want to have too much power behind it. Then I'm going to be basically taking the 4440's job all the way. Which, money wise, may not be a bad thing because that'll save us a bunch, but you know, I want to keep that tractor here. Because that 4440 is a decent bailing tractor when we do run the uh, big square baler or even the round baler, I use it for most of the time. Finish spread manure on this field. One last turn in. Maybe you have to do one more pass after this, actually. Looks like we're all. Oh no, we're nowhere near empty. Yeah, let's get this last bit I missed. There we go. 
Let's cut off the power there for a second. Let's kick this thing into gear. We'll just circle around the back. We'll start at the back end just so we can kind of do this bit last because it still needs smoothed out a bit. I don't want to hit any big bumps to get stuck. Right, let's kick it on. Thing really has no issue at all. But this thing will probably end up being on the mixer a ton through the winter. Um, during hay season, I'll get switched out, I'd say, because we're going to be hauling wagons and running the rakes on it and everything. I would like to find one more field to cut just so we can kind of run the rakes on it one more time through, so. That might be on a stream next time I stream. We might be doing some little grass work or something. We'll have to see. Alright, looks like we're empty. Let's go ahead and stick this thing back under the uh, loader here. We'll have to have another tractor pick this job up. Get this thing back on the mixer. Okay, looks like there's a little collision here. Get to mess with. Alright. Let's pull back around here. thing hooked up. Alright, so we are going to be finishing up here. Um, I'm going to go get the 7830 off the blower here. Let's go ahead and park this. Get the 7830 put in the shed. Because I don't see us really using this until you either chop again. So I did decide to run this on the blower and run the 6R on the chopper for now. Just to kind of switch things up. and park it here. Really we need to get our tractors kind of arranged here. Not just sitting everywhere in the shed. And it's back to 4440 up here. There we go. And 6R is good. Actually we'll go ahead and park this in the shed here. Another thing I did forget to mention is we did get this tether here. This is another purchase we made on our loan. Um, really the old tether we had just was too small and stuff, so decided to buy that. I also have been planning, um, I did mention earlier we have a bunch of grass bales I have to pick up. I am planning to do something with trying to sell these, whether it's to another farmer or a biogas plant. Um, I'm trying to get a deal to sell probably at least one of the fields worth of these because we have a lot and we do need the money. So you can see we have all those, all of these, and then we got the big field down here. Where? Let's find it. We have all of these. Like I said it's like obviously way too many than compared to what we need because we still really haven't been able to use our silage from our harvester silo which itself is already really full. As you can see we have 32,000 liters there and we got another probably 300 something thousand liters sitting here. What is that like 330, 340,000 almost? Actually almost 350,000. So we have like almost a million liters of silage here and we haven't even been able to use it yet. And then high moisture coin obviously is fine. So we can deactivate that. We're looking good there, so let's make sure we have nothing else laying around needs put away. Only thing we are, I would like to get more of is hay, so if we can find a deal to get some more hay. Really, I should have kind of tetted some of those grass bales and made them hay, but I didn't really think about it when I was doing it, and I just bailed them all. But 76 is fine right here. We're going to be doing some more feeding with these guys off screen said let me know what you guys think about this 4255 in the comments i'm really liking it i think i should buy it um other than that 
cows are doing nice. I do gotta see why we don't have milk coming out of this barn. And if I do fix it, we will. I'm probably gonna calculate how much milk we should have had for that whole last year. Because if we look on our cow screen here, our freestall, which I've had for really less than a day, we already have um, that milk and slurry that this barn, for some reason, isn't giving us. You can see here. So we're going to have to, at some point, invest in a slurry tanker. But that's going to be it for me. So like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the new addition back here. What about the 44 or the uh, 4255? But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.